hello everyone and welcome back to another video happy new year in today's video we are going to look at an opportunity to study in romania there is a scholarship that is offered by the romanian government to go and study a bachelor's master's or phd and it is fully funded it is a great opportunity believe me it is fully funded you would have even housing there is no need for IELTS. There is no application fee. If you think that's cool, please hit the like button. And if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any opportunity on scholarships that might be coming from the channel. So Romania is an EU country. It is an EU country, which means you have the opportunity to travel to other EU countries like Hungary, Poland, Finland, Sweden, Germany, Netherlands, Denmark, France, Spain, even Portugal. There's Italy here. You have Bulgaria right next to it. So it is really a great opportunity. It is among the 27 EU countries. And if you go down here, you would find Romania right after Portugal. So I think this is a great opportunity. Without wasting too much of your time, let's get to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs website, that's MFA, that's where they've announced the scholarship. It says, scholarship offered by Romanian state through MFA, that's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Each year, the Romanian government through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs provide a number of scholarships to citizens from non-EU countries. They say candidates having good results in education respectively an average of study years from the last graduated school of at least seven corresponding to the scoring system in Romania or the good score as the case are eligible. Further details regarding the scholarship can be found here. So let's go check the further details. This is general condition. They say to whom it is addressed, you would find information about who is not supposed to apply and who is supposed to apply. So who qualifies? They say to be eligible, you have to submit a complete file, present study documents issued by a recognized institution, comply with the enrollment deadline. We'll look at the enrollment deadline. Have good results in education and it should be equivalent to at least seven or good score so comply with application submission methodology so the application is online you have to make sure you respect the application conditions so what level of studies does this scholarship covers it covers bachelor's degree that's for a period of three to six years know that there is one year of language studies you have to study romanian language and then there is Masters, it's for a period of between one and a half years to two years, and you have a dissertation. And then there is PhD, it has to be for a period of between three to five years of studies. When submitting your application for a doctoral program, to be admitted, they say, in order to be admitted to doctoral studies and to obtain the scholarship, it is compulsory that prior to submitting application, Candidates should get the written document of doctoral tutor, which must be a member of the doctoral school and also he she passes the admission interview. So you have to get a confirmation from somebody who is ready to be your thesis supervisor. Language, like I said, there is language studies because the studies is in Romanian language. In order to promote Romanian language and culture, beneficiaries of the studies granted by the Romanian State for Undergraduate and Master's Studies study only in Romanian language. So it is a sort of a cultural exchange kind of a thing to promote Romanian language. So if you want to do your undergraduate or your master's degree, know that you're going there to study in Romanian language, which means you will learn Romanian language before you proceed to your degree program. So the only exception is for doctoral students. For candidates who do not speak Romanian, a preparatory year is granted for the study of the Romanian language prior to the actual university studies with the exception of doctoral. So 
undergraduate and graduate students will have one year preparatory period to learn the language. You study Romanian language for one year before you proceed to your undergraduate or your master's degree. For those who want to do PhD, there is a possibility for you to select another language. Now, the enrollment date. Enrollment began on the 15th of December 2022 and it's still ongoing. The final date, the last date of submission is on the 1st of March 2023. Let's say you still have approximately two more months left to complete the application process and then required documents you have to provide copies of your diplomas they have to be either in english french spanish or romanian language if it is already in english good and fine if it is in french good if it is if it is in spanish also good in romanian good copies of transcript also english french spanish romanian copy of birth certificate if it is not in english you have to translate to english french romanian just like the other document then copy of first three pages of your passport curriculum vitae in english or french and then for doctoral students candidates need to submit a letter of intent containing the list of scientific works if you have had publications you have to submit them specialized publication the detailed description of proposed research project as well as agreement of a tutor so you have to provide for you to be admitted you have to provide a research proposal to prove that you want to do a research in a particular field and then you have to equally get an agreement from a tutor or a professor that they are ready to supervise you during your thesis once you get admitted into any of the universities that you might have chosen and then they say application will also include the following documents copy of name change in case you've changed name so you can like go through all of this document to know what you have to provide then announcement of results will be from the 15th of july then what is the scholarship package exemption from payment of registration fee or any other fees required by application process so you're not paying any registration fee registration is free online and then they will test you for romanian language skill that's going to be free then when taking admission contest for doctoral and specific aptitude tests all of that is free financing the tuition expenses of romanian language preparatory class remember i said you will study romanian language for one year it's for free financing tuition expenses for the actual studies so after your studies after you're done with romanian language you have to proceed to your undergraduate or graduate or maybe your doctoral that one is also free the actual degree process they'll finance the studies then they'll grant you monthly scholarship for students enrolled in romanian language so when you'll be doing romanian language you would have monthly pay and then they will equally provide you monthly scholarship when enrolled for your bachelor's, master's or doctoral studies. And it will be not more than the duration of a university circle. So in case, let's say your bachelor's is five years. Let's say you did your language one year and then bachelor is supposed to take four years. In case you go above the four years of actual studies of your bachelor, if you're not able to graduate within four years, you would have to pay to continue studies if you have to do masters and it's two years after two years if you are not able to graduate then you have to finance your studies they will no longer finance your studies they will equally finance accommodation in student dormitories within their located subsidy granted through the budget of ministry of education they will provide you medical insurance in case of medical surgical emergencies and disease in endemic epidemic situations and then they'll provide you with means of transportation within romania so they'll exempt you from payment of study visa fee once you're already in romania even when you're doing your language even when you're doing your bachelor masters or phd the visa fee like when you want to extend your stay will be free and then they will give you another 30 days after completing university studies lasting at least one year which means after every 30 days they can like renew it and then you have obligations that you have to fulfill as a foreign student you can like read that now let's look at how you can go about applying online because 
here it says how to submit application online and the application process is through studyinromania.gov.ro and through scholarships.studyinromania.gov.ro those are the two possibilities for you to apply you cannot submit your documents directly to any office you have to apply online now when we click here it will take us to this page and this is the page where if you go to apply for MFA scholarship it will open the page where you can apply for the scholarship so if you click apply it is a five-step application first one is you fill in your personal data like your name date of birth those things and then the next level is you have to upload your documents like your high school or bachelor's certificates and transcripts and then you would have to choose the university that you intend to study to at the third level and then fourth level you have to review all of the processes that you've gone through from one two three to make sure you did not make any mistake and then after that you can submit and then the feed one now is for you to constantly check your emails because they will send you an email to confirm if you've been accepted and that will be from the 15th of July 2023 so you have to be patient and also make sure you check your emails check your spam because even when creating an account on this page there is a confirmation email and that email sometimes goes to your spam so you have to make sure you check even your spam because the email might go to your spam and you might be there waiting while you've already been sent a, a confirmation email that you've been accepted stuff like that and then from there you can go and study in Romania after you've been accepted at the fit level that being said I think this is a great opportunity because Romania is also a country that is in the EU which means you would have the opportunity to travel around the EU and maybe after your undergraduate or maybe after your masters you might decide to apply to go and study in any other European country I know Romania is not one of those big European countries I mean like when we talk of big European countries we're talking of places like Germany Holland but I think this is also a great opportunity for you to study for free and this is a government sponsored scholarship which means it is guaranteed take the opportunity and study in Romania that being said please if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel please make sure you do and turn on the notification so that you would always be informed whenever there is an opportunity to travel to any country and study for free that being said this is the end of the video and then i'll see you in the next one happy new year